Hi, I'm Josh Erdman, CEO of Systems and Marketing Solutions. And you know, I love my job. I love people, I love human nature, and it's, it's really fun to see human nature and marketing at work because when it's done right, you have the connection of a relationship. Uh, a company uses good advertising and good marketing to uh, build a bridge of trust, to connect at an emotional level. And you know, the, the viewer of your website or your video um, learns and connects with you, realizes, develops a trust. Sometimes that trust is done from great reviews. Other times trust is built up on um, you sharing the heart of your customer um, you know, and, and connecting to their heart by you sharing your heart of your business. And uh, other ways to really connect and have a great relationship is through the power of story. Story is used really well in marketing. Donald Miller has a whole book um, dedicated to that called Story Brand. I, I highly recommend that you, you read the book. Um, you can watch some videos online as well. But I'm going to take a little uh, aside on this because not only is story powerful in the world of marketing and also in the culture of your business, story is powerful in customer service as well. And I'll, I'll, I'm going to tell you a story, interestingly enough, um, to um, go full circle on how this works. So um, just this last weekend, I was grocery shopping. I pulled into the parking lot um, next to a cream-colored, almost new GMC uh, Denali Yukon XL. So this is one of those big, giant, very expensive vehicles. It looked very pretty. And uh, as I was getting out, I had to open my door all the way so I could make room to reach underneath the seat and get the grocery bags. So I opened my door and carefully placed it against the Denali and my door, I made sure that it hit that plastic guard strip so I wasn't scratching anything. And out, as I was outside of my car, uh, grabbing my bags, um, a lady was speaking to me and she said, please don't let your door touch my car. Um, you know, so I, I smiled you know, and I um, showed her and told her how careful I was being and uh, satisfied, she turned around and walked away. But I kept watching her and I, walked, I watched her take about 20 steps away, sit down on a curb and pick up a cardboard sign facing the exit of the Starbucks that was right nearby. And my mind was totally flabbergasted. The, the, these two facts, this dichotomy of the owner of an almost new Denali who clearly cares the, about the care of her vehicle and what appeared to be a homeless sign uh, looking for handouts at Starbucks. Um, my mouth was full of words that I wanted to say. And as I grabbed my shopping cart and went to the grocery store, um, you know, my mind instantly came up with a story. You know, clearly this person is taking advantage of the generosity of others. Um, how, how could they even think of doing something like that, even owning a new car as nice as this? Um, but I also see myself as a positive person and I was trying to put a positive light on this. Still, I only had the same two facts. Uh, the owner of a Denali and homeless sign in front of Starbucks. And a story I, I tried to write, it took a lot of effort, was that perhaps this person really was homeless and their um, care for their Denali was because they wanted to sell it for the maximum price. That was the best story I could put together. And when you, when you share just these two facts, and I shared them with my office staff, you know, clearly, you know, there's a lot of frowns and frustration about the situation. Um, negative energy toward uh, toward that woman. Uh, everyone is quickly e uh, quick to make negative story. It's very easy. It's a human nature kind of thing. And that got me thinking about business, especially in the world of service. What are we communicating to our customers that allows them to write a story? If we communicate too little, just as the, such as these two little facts, human nature is going to allow them to easily, quickly write a negative story about your business. Uh, and uh, what I call this is call is sculpting expectations, especially at the, the front end of a project. When you're working with someone, you definitely want to share timelines and due dates. You want to over communicate um, the amount of work that you need to do, but the amount of work that they need to do to make sure that the project is going to be completed on time. You need to communicate about scope and what change of scope looks like and over communicate throughout the project. So they're getting and being dripped these facts of what's happening in the project. So it's the facts that are already writing the story instead of um, you working too hard to communicate and then let them know at the end of the project that you're going to be late, um, uh, maybe even even worse over budget with the project. So, um, you know, it's it's interesting. We, we see this a lot in um, protecting our clients as we do 
um, online reputation help. They have negative reviews, they're frustrated, they want to know um, what they can do to help improve their reputation. So naturally, we have to read these reviews. And when we read them, you can see what the customer is doing. They are already telling these, uh, these stories. They're telling their story, and it's negative. And usually, most of these negative reviews um, are ones that they had a limited number of facts. They didn't like the outcome, so they have this natural human nature um, bent to write a negative story, and they put in the few facts they do know, and they, they come up with a negative story, and that's what they share in reviews. So um, in that experience, not just um, when it comes to projects, but when it comes to transactions, what you, you should think about that. What are facts and things that you are dropping in to the customer um, that give you a little bit more control on the story that they're writing? Um, sometimes, you know, the significant help is the, uh, the social graces, smiles, smiles show a positive heart, a positive intention. And it's funny how many people are too wrapped up in the, um, in the transaction and in the job to actually smile at their customer. So they're already getting a feeling about that. And you haven't dripped anything to them about positive intention, wanting to do a new, a good job, caring for the customer. So um, I encourage you to look at your processes, look at your onboarding procedures, look at how you have a, a kickoff call and a welcome call with projects. Um, maybe even read reviews and see the stories that customers are writing and maybe some of the points that they're missing when it comes to knowing the heart of your business and doing a good job. So you know, in the world of marketing, storytelling is powerful. You wanna tell your customer stories. You wanna tell your story of how your customer was, um, of how your company was founded. People connect to that. But at the same time, when it comes to operations and customer support, storytelling comes back again, and it's, uh, it's important and powerful. So I hope that's a, a good tip for you. Uh, you know, again, uh, systems and marketing solutions, we love to take people's stories, especially video stories. And our expertise is pay-per-click advertising. So we can take your videos and put them online in front of people um, through multiple mediums and uh, take your story and show it to the world. So thank you very much. Um, if you have questions, ideas, or you want to share um, a story or some tips you have to sculpt expectations, please do so. I'd, I'd love to see your contributions and, and comment on them myself. Thank you very much.